getting all philosophical. Okay, so hey guys, it's Tuesday, so uh, I was talking to one of my friends last night, and uh, she kind of stopped and just turned to me and said, so explain video games to me. And I had absolutely no idea what to say to that. <laughs> I mean, saying explain video games to me just seems like the most preposterous thing ever. But when I asked her what she meant, she was like, well, I understand what video games are. I understand that they're basically games that you play through your TV or your computer using systems, and they have all these graphics and stuff like that. I understand that. She goes, but explain video games. And I said, the draw of video games? And, and she said, no. She understands what's cool about them, but she doesn't understand video games. And she wanted me to explain it to her. Now I was, I've been thinking about that for the past 24 hours now. I have absolutely no idea how to answer. Video games to me have always been this, you know, just, you know, Harry Potter, Quidditch World Cup, NBA 2K7, Final Fantasy X, you know, I got hundreds of other games, and I mean, if there's anybody to ask about this, it's me. The stuff that we have now is a Sega Dreamcast, a Sega Master System, a PS2, and a PS3. I figured that the way that I could look into that answer is to look into how I would answer other similar questions. Like, so if I look into films, if I were to explain movies, I would say that they're stories personified. When you read a book, you get to read a book and you have to imagine it in your head. Uh, with movies, you don't have to imagine anymore. You don't have to create it in your own head. You can just look at it and it's on a screen and it's all there. And that's what makes it great. You bring that back over to video games. Video games adds another element to it. You want to participate in what is happening on the screen. Fine, we'll hand you a controller and you can take control of that. This is video games. Also, granted, this is a vast vast oversimplification of what video games are. Video games are incredibly complex and also video games have really struggled to be inherently interactive. Video games until as recently as last year was basically if you needed something done you pushed a button uh, and then you went through the set storyline at the end there was one ending maybe two and that was the only decision you got to make. With games like Heavy Rain, every decision that you make affects the final goal, and you don't know if you did something right until you've reached the very, very end, which is much like life. You do things as part of objectives, uh, but you don't know if you did them correctly, unless it's blatantly obvious that you did it wrong, and you never find out if that decision is majorly effective until the very, very end. You know, whenever I'm playing Heavy Rain, I'm not just, you know, sitting down, playing leisurely, pressing the X button, you know, being a normal everyday player. Now I'm standing up like this, <laughs> literally going. On. Oh. oh, God. How did it work? Do I choose sincere or deflective? What, sincere? Is that the right choice? I hope that was the right choice. Even though that is the most stressful game, I would definitely have to say that it is my most favorite game. I enjoy it more than any other, and I wouldn't have it any other way. But to me, that is video games. To me, video games is participation. It's just, it's movies with another step added to it. And I really didn't know that until I made this video, so. Thanks, guys. Comment down below uh, or make a video response about what video games means to you. It could be something as simple as I video games mean absolutely nothing to me or video games are a break from the reality that I really, really need to escape. I think this is how I'll wave goodbye today. <laughs> All right, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> that That's how you know I'm waving goodbye. I just wave faster. Yeah. <laughs>